The Juneteenth Music Festival is happening next weekend. Each year, Denver's historic Five Points neighborhood really transforms to honor Juneteenth. And musical artist Danae Simone will be performing. Thank you so much for joining yes, us this morning. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yes, so you're going to be performing mm -hmm. at the Juneteenth Music Festival. Yes. And for people who want a little bit of background about Juneteenth, the Emancipation Proclamation was issued in 1863 that freed African people across the country from slavery. Enslaved people in Galveston Bay, Texas, were among the last to learn about that. They didn't learn about their freedom until June 19th, 1865. Mm -hmm. And we celebrate that that day as Juneteenth, or the day all formerly enslaved people got their freedom in this country. So, Danae, why do you think it's so important to commemorate Juneteenth? Yes, absolutely. Well, obviously, because that was the day that black people were informed that they were actually free. And I think with it being the largest festival that happens in Denver, mm -hmm. it's just great for us to come together as a community um, to kind of show what our culture is about here in the state. So it's just good for us in general. And that festival is a lot of fun too. Yeah, oh, it is. Yeah. It's so much fun, yes. What can people <laughs> expect if they're heading out to Five Points for the Juneteenth Music Festival? Yeah, for sure. Lots of food, lots of great vibes, um, beautiful people, beautiful culture. Mm -hmm. um, live music from local artists and music soul child will be here this year so it's going to be super exciting nice. super incredible um just overall just amazing beautiful black culture and you don't see it that much in Denver, so it's gonna be mm -hmm. great just to kind of like see everyone in one place. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. I actually got to go last year. Mm -hmm. The food was great. Amazing. Uh, lots of vendors, mm -hmm. clothes, and different things you can buy, so that's a lot of fun. Yeah. All right, so Danae Simone, you are going to be performing at the music festival I am. as an artist. So what made you want to be a part of this event? Oh man, well, first of all, growing up in Denver, I'm a Denver native, so mm -hmm in the Five Point area is where I grew up. So as a kid, being able to watch the festival and the drum line and the parade and all that. So now that I'm older, being able to be a part of that is just so special to me. It means so much. And I don't know, it's just a dream come true, really, when you become like a big enough person in your city to be able to give back and um, mm -hmm. honor your culture by being a part of the biggest festival. Juneteenth is like really huge yes. in, in Colorado alone. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got a little clip right now of one of Danae Simone's latest songs, which is called Toxic Love. This ain't the love that I thought that we discussed, that I can trust. I've had enough of that toxic love. This is that toxic love. Oh my gosh, yes. girl, <laughs> wow, I'm Thank so you. impressed. <laughs> what got you into music? Oh man, my family, I come from a family of singers, mm -hmm. gospel and jazz singers. So I've been singing since I was maybe three years old. Tina Turner, you know what I mean? I'll, having my grandma's wig on, wanting to be this superstar. You gotta so, put yeah. on your grandma's wig. <laughs> you gotta yeah. put on grandma's wig. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And when will you be performing next week? Um, so I'll be performing Sunday, June 18th mm -hmm. on my birthday. Oh my gosh, your birthday too. Yes, oh, that's yes. Great. at five o'clock. So I hope to see everyone there. It's going to be amazing. Yes. yes. Okay. And we will be cheering you on. <laughs> the Juneteenth Music Festival is going to take place in five points. It's on Welton Street, Saturday, June 17th, Sunday, June 18th. If yes. you want to see Danae Simone perform and to learn more, you can visit JuneteenthMusicFestival.com. We'll be right back.